Becca. This is a very, very accurate video. I um, shouldn't be laughing really, but bloody hell, man. You would have thought there would be a little bit of a... Um, how do you say? You would have thought... They're trying to... You would have thought there would have been a little bit more... I would say tact. Is it tact? Not tact. Tact is the right word. You would have thought there'd be a bit more awareness, right, from... Um, every police department in the united states as to what's going on right i'm not saying that you should treat black people with baby with you know with baby gloves or kid gloves um when it comes to rioting protesting or looting right i think everyone should be treated the same um you know there's these videos of random black guys walking up to white people and making them kneel and shit is nuts people need to stop that shit that's only going to cause more division that's not what we want right we want a, we want to enact change we don't want to suddenly uh adorn ourselves or you know christen ourselves as a superior race if anything we're just repeating the mistakes of the past but those videos are lols but you would have thought the police departments right would have would be a little bit more you know would be on their p's and q's right would be aware of what's going on aware of people having all their phones out from wanting to catch a viral moment or just aware of just how they're perceived in general but you know this video proves you know uh counter that that's not actually the case so this video was shared by a guy called arash markazi the caption says a black family tried to get the attention of police to protect a neighborhood store in van Ayns and were immediately handcuffed right so the store owners of the shop happened to be black they try to get attention of the cops into you know some sort of kerfuffle that was going on the cops get there and in incorrectly arrest the store owners because they're black which again proves for anyone doubting that police brutality is a thing this is where it stems from right this presumption of guilt before any sort of investigation before any sort of this the presumption of guilt in general just based on your skin color is the root cause of the problem that we have here if George Floyd did something wrong, right? No one is blame, no, no, not blame it. No one would be getting their panties in a twist if you got involved in some sort of kerfuffle. Now, it doesn't excuse you killing a civilian if they did something wrong, right? Uh, police, police, pe policemen aren't judge and jury and executioner, right? That's not their role. But if he did something wrong, fair enough. But he wasn't even given the chance to prove his innocence. He wasn't even given the chance to plead his case. He was immediately treated as disposable, as some, you know, he was treated worse than a dog. Like, would anyone actually do that to an actual dog? If you saw somebody, look at how we reacted to that woman in the park, that Karen in the park that was choking a dog without her knowledge because she was shouting at a black dude who was a bird watcher. Look how negatively we, we, we attacked that. But now somehow, you know, people are saying it's only a couple of bad apples. Like, you know, it's just come on. So this video just proves this just proves that, you know, there is unfortunately there is ingrained perceptional truths that are just I don't know how you're going to get those out. I don't know how you're going to retrain people to not see their fellow citizen or, or that happens to have a different color skin to them as a threat immediately. I'm not sure how you train that out of people. How, is that possible? What do you do? I honestly don't know the answer to it, but this is the video. Flag them down. Yeah, flag We're them trying down. to flag down the cops. This is a Fox 11 News video. Oh. Hold on, let me flag them back here. The cop, they, they finally flagged they're the cops down. They're driving past us. Oh. Stop. Watch. So they come. It just goes to show right, you perhaps well, how um, overwhelmed the police department is right now. And they've got right gear on as well. This is one they of have gone up and down the street. Uh, at least, okay, they're turning around. There they come. There they come. I, they just okay, saw here me. They are. Police in are in three days car. of surreal moments on TV, this is one of the most surreal moments. They're running across the street. Uh, what is underway the right now in Van Nuys? All right, so uh, here looking come at them. the police Look, watch, officers watch, watch, watch. to help. So let's see what the woman says. They're trying to what? Oh, These community trying members. To the guys trying on to the loot. other side are in cars. And All right, here they come. Immediately they get to stop, right? And this is probably the reason, the problem behind it, right? There's no real good police work because... The way they approach the shop anyway, they're all in line, right? So if, if all these guys had guns, they'd all be dead, right? There's no sort of flanking, no strategic way of approaching a store, trying to gauge what's going on. They just all approach in a line together, walking up to the shop. It's ridiculous. Of course, they've got, you know, armored, uh, bodyproof, um, what do you call it, vest on and shit, bulletproof vest, sorry, and stuff. But still, it's not the best tactic to approach a situation, defuse something. 
and again, I'm, I'm saying this from my fucking chair in the middle of a warm air conditioned apartment somewhere in London. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'd imagine up just from terms of, you know, being able to do your job well, this probably isn't the best way to do it. They approach the store, some of them the guys, have got their guns in yeah, hand. I'm trying to stop over there from looting in the cars. And then look, as soon as they get there. All right, now they're boom, telling them. Pointing their guns no, at no, people in the fine. shop. They're good. Oh. The shop owners, right? Gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. <laughs> wow. And shotguns drawn. Oh, my God. The actual criminals on the other side of the street running across the street. The police officers have got their shotguns out for looters. Joe, oh, Joe, to your right. Also, there's a part of me, too. What's, what's the benefits of chasing a looter across the street with a shotgun? Especially if they don't have anything in their hands. Is it not a waste of police time? If they do that to every single person out there looting, would there be not best... Would it be not in their best interest to just scare them off, cordon off the area, barricade all the shops, and then make sure there's patrols going around, right? What are you going to do? You're going to try and round up every single little tow rag out there trying to smash a, a window of a shop in. It's not really the best. I don't know. Maybe it's not the best use of police time, in it? Come on. Obviously, there's an argument to be said for why those kids out there in the first place, but they're out there already, right? What are you going to do? You're not going to round them all up, are you? She's quick to show her ID, but she's not quick to back up the actual uh, store owners of the liquor store, right? Happen to be like, They're look. the store owners. They were protecting oh, the looters, sir. Almighty. And you know what's really scary about this, right? The store owners are now getting arrested for trying to alert the police for a crime that was near taking place at their store. If they would have made one false move, again, it's not a funny situation, actually, thinking about it, right? One false move, they could be all dead for trying to protect their own store. If that's not an illustration of what the issue is, I don't know what is, man. Whoa. They're, they're protecting the stores. Their looters are over there. Stand down for a sec, please. Yeah, You're losing your looters. We're they're taking them that way. These are the people in the stores Which trying ones? to stop. Point, point. All three of them. Okay, the, we're putting those in handcuffs right now. You don't know no, they're no. not the hey, looters. One person talk. Where's okay. the looter? Where's the looter? Where's the looter? Where's the looter? They're, they're helping protecting this building. Hey, where'd the looter go? They were. Okay, hey, description. Maybe it's really tense in the street, but this police officer doesn't sound very calm, in it? He's nervous. He's ratty. The woman's obviously the woman. Her ex, the woman's fucking an absolute horror show, right? She was quick to show her badge, but she can't articulate herself in any kind of meaningful way to actually explain the situation um, that's unfolding. Especially being a newscaster, it makes no sense. But Jesus, this police officer is the most twitchy guy in the world, isn't it? But again, maybe it's really tents in the streets out there uh black white Asian? african americans hey. they're in a gray vehicle the other gray vehicle is parked in front of the buy gold store a group insane. of six of them Awful. six of, we have video look how many police officers they got in front of the store right is that like six of them or ten of them and or six or ten of the police officers one two three four and then there's no four five there's probably three here a couple more over there in front of the store and then the actual looters have run off long gone god almighty man police pe police officers in the states are horrible at their jobs isn't it absolutely terrible what, what a shocking example and again this is off the back of what's happened with george floyd off the back of it right where he was presumed guilty um presumed guilty of, you know without any without seeing his day in court uh, uh, uh what a fucking nonsense crime right if you believe the reports that he had uh, a forged bill on him or something led to his death because they just have presumed oh he's a big black dude we have to you know put some extra force on him and then the same sort of thing happens to these shop owners you know luckily they complied luckily maybe because of the cameras and because it's daylight i don't know they were just fortunate in this regard that they weren't they didn't make any sort of false move they didn't you know they didn't get jittery because they would have all got sprayed in front of their doorsteps of their own store there if it was on the occasion any other occasion it's just shocking to see man